Equinox. Bowl looking good. Ah, I'm getting chocolate on my hands from moving the drinks around. It's delicious. Today we are trying out the new Valentine's Day drinks and donuts from Duncan. I'm so excited. As you can see, I have four drinks here to try. I've got two hot, two cold, and two donuts. I'm also excited about this shirt and I'm sad that you can't see the full effect. So let me show you real quick. It says his Roxanne. And if you know, you know. If you don't, please go watch a Goofy movie. So I know a couple weeks ago when I filmed that brown butter toffee latte video, which by the way, is also delicious if you haven't tried that yet. I, I knew that they were coming out in a couple weeks with their Valentine's Day lineup, which included the new brownie batter latte inspired by the delicious brownie batter donut which i tried in that video and i will try again in this video because it's so good and i will never pass up an opportunity to get one <laughs> ah, i'm getting chocolate on my hand from moving the drinks around okay so we're gonna do the ice one first because i don't want this whipped cream to all melt before i get to drink it it looks so freaking good it's got multicolored sprinkles which is always very exciting all right so the description says brownie batter signature latte combines rich espresso with gooey indulgent bowl looking good ooh, bowl looking good brownie batter flavor full of chocolate and indulgence this espresso beverage is topped with whipped cream mocha drizzle and valentine's themed sprinkles I don't think these are the Valentine's themed sprinkles. I think I just got regular multicolored sprinkles because they're not pink and red, but I will not hold it against the drink. Should still be delicious in theory. <laughs> also, I should note that this is a member exclusive drink. So if you want to get it, you have to have the Duncan app. Look at this. Look at this straw they gave me. It like doesn't even, I mean, I guess it can make it work. It looks tiny though. I see some of the syrup at the bottom. So let's just stir it up a little bit with this tiny A straw that they gave me. <laughs> Cheers. Hmm. It's definitely very chocolatey, very rich. I don't like it as much as I wanted to. Let me take another sip though. I want to give it a fair, a fair shot. Okay, now that I like shook it up and get some of the syrup that's collected at the bottom, very good. I definitely get some of that brownie flavor. I still like the donut better, obviously. I think that's kind of a given. Don't go into this expecting it to be better than the donut, but I could see how it tastes inspired by the brownie batter donut. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think the brown batter toffee is better than this. Still good as an option, but if they have both, get the brown batter toffee. Brown butter toffee, you know what I meant. Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's good, but that brown butter toffee was so amazing. I think I'm comparing it to that. I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10. It's still really good. It's definitely sweet, rich, indulgent chocolate flavor. So if you're a hardcore chocolate fan, this would probably be right up your alley. So cheers on that, Duncan. And it's very adorable looking. Let me stir it up a little bit more. I just feel like there's so much syrup at the friggin' bottom. Definitely start up because if the syrup settles to the bottom, you need that syrup. The syrup is what it gives it that brownie flavor. It's still like, you know what? I might bump it up to 8.75. It's 8 point, it's almost nine. It's almost nine. If it wasn't for that brown butter toffee, I might've given this a nine, but now that I've tasted that, I can. Hands are so cold now. Okay, I'm gonna try the hot version. I think it's this one. Yeah, okay, so this is the hot one. I'll read the description, but it's probably, I mean, I would assume it says the same thing. Yeah, so brownie batter signature latte combines rich espresso with gooey indulgent bowl looking good brownie batter flavor, yada, yada, yada. They must be out of the Valentine's Day sprinkles at my Duncan, because it's definitely just like multicolored sprinkles, which is fine. Multicolored are cool, but Valentine's Day are even better because it has pink in it, so. <laughs> I don't like it hot. I feel like this is a theme with me and Duncan drinks. I feel like I like them better cold. I don't like this at all. <laughs> this is giving a five out of 10 for me. I don't taste the brownie batter flavor. Maybe it's similar to the ice where you have to like stir it up a little bit. So I will, I'll give it the same courtesy that I gave this one. I can't see through the, through the cup to see that it's settled at the bottom. Push it around a little bit. Please don't spill in my car with the white seats. Take two. No, still don't like it. <laughs> Which is weird because I'm pretty sure it's the exact same ingredients, just cold or hot with ice. Or maybe they made it wrong, I don't know. I don't taste the same brownie batter flavor that I do in this hot one as I did in the iced. So this is a five out of 10. 
yeah, there's like no comparison. That one is like really good and delicious and I would continue to drink it. That hot one, I, I will not be drinking the rest of that. <laughs> Up next, we have the Coco Mocha, which is hard to say a little bit. <laughs> I kept like practicing it as like Coco Moco. No, Coco, Coco Mocha. And for some reason, it makes me just want to trip over it. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this one because I've said this in many videos. I'm not the biggest chocolate person, but it was here. So I want to try it for the video. All right. So description says plenty to love. Rich espresso is combined with a decadent chocolatey mocha swirl and topped with whipped cream, mocha drizzle, and hot chocolate powder. Frick, it's hot chocolate powder. I don't know. It must be in there because I don't see it on the top. But where did the straw go? Oh, it's right here. Hello. All right. This one obviously has stuff at the bottom too. So let's just give it a good swirly swirl. Mixy mix. All right. Cheers. That's a lot of chocolate. Holy cow. It tastes, I don't know. Maybe it's whatever the chocolate powder is. I don't like it. <laughs> it's too much. It's too, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like really chocolatey, but not really sweet. I, it's just, it's just off to me. I don't, I don't like it. So I would not recommend this one. This one's getting like a three out of 10 for me. It tastes like an off chocolate milk. Like, not like chocolate milk that's, like, gone bad, but, like, just, like, it feels like it should taste like chocolate milk, but it has, like, a weird aftertaste to it is what I'm getting from this. So, that's going to be a no for me. Let me drink this brownie batter to get that taste out of my mouth because... Ah, so much better. <laughs> but let's taste the hot version. All right, we'll swirl this one around, too case there's syrups at the bottom and whatnot. I'm not optimistic though because I previously said that I like Dunkin' ice drinks better than hot drinks so like if I didn't like the ice version can't imagine I'll like the hot version but it is keeping my hand warm because that drink made it cold. Interesting. Okay so I still don't love it but I actually, for this one, like the hot version better than the ice version, which is very strange considering what I literally just said. This is actually semi-decent. Like, I'm going to give this, like, a 5 out of 10. I would put this on the same level as the brownie batter. Let me taste this one again to compare it. Because it, like, this just tastes, it tastes like not a great hot chocolate, but, like, an okay hot chocolate, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, actually, I like it more than the hot brownie batter. It's still not great, but it tastes like a hot chocolate. Sorry, I was checking the label to make sure I didn't get a hot chocolate. <laughs> no, it says a hot cocoa mocha. Yeah, interesting. So if you want to get the cocoa mocha, so I keep feeling I was saying it wrong. The cocoa mocha, get the hot version. If you want to get the brownie batter, get the ice version. All right, next up we have donuts, which are so freaking adorable. Honestly, even if they tasted like crap, I don't know that I would care because they're so cute. This one is the brownie batter. This one is the Cupid's Choice. Let's try the Cupid's Choice first because I know I like the brownie batter and let's save. Save a known entity for last. I love that they're heart shaped. They're so cute. I don't know that I've ever tried this one before, so we'll read the description. It says, all you need are donuts. So adorable. Have I ever told you guys about the dream that I had when I was pregnant with my twins? I had this very mundane dream about going to Dunkin' Donuts and getting donuts. And in the dream, I like was craving the donuts. So I went and I drove to Dunkin' Donuts and I got donuts and I ate them and they were amazing. And that was the whole dream. <laughs> it was so boring. But I woke up and I was like, I should get donuts. And I did. And it was indeed amazing. And I don't know where that dream came from. Like, I hadn't gotten donuts in a long time. I don't often just go get donuts unless it's for a video. But, I mean, I made dreams come true that day. So, good times. All right, so it says heart-shaped yeast shell fills with Bavarian cream topped with strawberry-flavored icing and a red, white, and pink Valentine's Day sprinkle blend. So, this one does have the Valentine's Day sprinkles, so. All right, anyway, <laughs> let's try it. Mmm. Mm, good. 
only downside is I'm not a huge fan of Bavarian cream. So for me, I would have liked it better if it had like a vanilla cream in the center. But if you get down with the Bavarian cream, then you'll love this. This slight strawberry on top. It's good. I like it. Very tasty option. Next up, the favorite. The one that I mm, love so much. But we'll read the description even though I know what it is. So it's a yeast shell filled with brownie batter flavored buttercream topped with chocolate icing and valentine's day sprinkles i just love even though i don't eat brownies or donuts for that much for that matter all that much i love the taste of a good brownie it's so good and the batter is even better for some reason <laughs> cheers mm. it's just it's, it's delicious it's a 10 out of 10 as always it literally tastes like they put unsafe to eat brownie batter in this donut i know they didn't but that's what it tastes like like the taste is so authentic to brownie batter it's ridiculous so good let's take a bite of the donut and drink the coffee at the same time not at the same but like you know what i'm saying all right mm. it's a good combo it's good absolutely delicious let me know in the comments if you guys have tried any of these valentine's day duck and treats let me know your thoughts on them i would love to know again highly recommend the brownie batter donut try out the brownie batter latte but only get it iced because the hot was not good <laughs> make sure you subscribe and like and share this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye